So welcome to Techno Dad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we're going to be comparing Unraid, FreeNAS, and Open Media Vault. And I have to say, I was a little surprised by what I found today. And if you like this video, make sure you like, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And here we go now. Okay, so let's get started talking about these three different systems. We have Unraid, we have FreeNAS, and Open Media Vault. And so just let's talk about some differentiations. Let's start with install. And so with FreeNAS and Open Media Vault, they just are a normal install, so a free BSD install for FreeNAS and for Open Media Vault, a normal Linux install. Uh, the one that's different here is Unraid, and so Unraid uses a automatic installer. And so let's just take a quick look at that here. So if we bring that up, we can see it says Unraid USB Flash Creator. So now the thing about this Flash Creator is it will only work with specific flash drives. And so uh, I went on to the Unraid website and to the manual. And so the flash drives they recommend are a number of years old and you can't even buy them anymore. And so then I went into the forums and I searched different threads. Uh, and basically some of them were helpful, some of them weren't. And so basically I tried seven different USB drives that didn't work and then I came upon three that did work. Unfortunately these are not listed in the Unraid manual where you would think they would make it nice and easier to uh, do that. And what I found about the Unraid manual, it was a little outdated. Uh, the other manuals for FreeNAS and OMV uh, are up to date. So with Unraid, you actually have to spend more time in the forums to actually get started. Once you get the disk burn, then Unraid is actually very easy to set up. So if we take a look at the three UIs, uh, let's just go here. So Open Media Vault, you log in as admin and you use Open Media Vault as the password. So admin, Open Media Vault. Uh, FreeNAS is root and then the password that you put during install. And then uh, Unraid, you actually have to add the password after the server is already set up. Other thing about these is Unraid can only be installed to USB. Uh, Open Media Vault and FreeNAS can be both installed to either a SSD, a USB, or a hard drive, depending on what's available. Uh, I tend to install things to SSDs because they're longer lasting uh, than USB drives, but faster than hard drives. Uh, one of the things that you see on the Unraid forums, and they have some tutorials, is you have to back up your USB drive because they tend to fail about every six months, which isn't very convenient. And now if we look at the UIs, so here's Unraid and then Open Media Vault and FreeNAS. These are the screens that they open to. Uh, Unraid, the top looks nice here, but the information is not very pretty is a good way to put it. And even the main dashboard, uh, it's not very uh, user friendly to find things easily. Uh, the, I find the type small and hard to read even though I'm on a big monitor. Unraid when it was designed is all about the array and so you can see in both the dashboard here it's all about the array and then over here on the main page it's all about the array too. Uh, Open Media Vault, uh, some basic information tells you your services are up and running. You can find everything over here on the sides. Uh, FreeNAS, 
basically the same, just two different themes. So again, basic information about our system and memory usage, which is nothing at the moment because we're not doing anything. And again, a nice folder structure here on the side to find things quickly and easily. Once we go over how pretty things are, then uh, on Unraid, setting up users is simple. Settings are easy to find. Plugins, you have to use the add community applications to get plugins. So plugins, Docker, VMs, and tools are right at the top there. So open Mini Vaults. So again, we have uh, plugins, Docker, VMs, which are managed by VirtualBox. And then uh, you can actually, you have a list of your VMs here in the Virtual Machine tab here. So FreeNAS, we have again plugins, and then uh, jails, which are the equivalent of Docker. So even though my FreeNAS friends say jails are not the equivalent of Docker, uh, they do the same purpose. So I would consider them different, but the same. Uh, and then virtual machines. And when I was looking in the FreeNAS virtual machine information there, it talks about setting up Docker's in uh, the virtual machine. So uh, there's a lot of Docker's available uh, that you can use for just about everything. There are not a whole lot of jails in comparison there. If we go over to the FreeNAS information here, you can see there's a whole section on setting up uh, Docker's in your virtual machines if you want to use virtual machines. Uh, I found the FreeNAS uh, user guide very useful and a lot of good information in there. So the Open Media Vault guide, also excellent. And in general, uh, you can find anything about anything that you want to need to know about it. And the Unraid manual, again, uh, it is a little outdated. And so uh, it does need to be updated. With Unraid, which I forgot to mention before, uh, they do have something different than the other two. And so uh, they use KVM for their virtual machines. So that means you can pass through hardware. And so you can pass through a graphics device uh, easily. So basically, uh, you would just assign the graphics device to your VM. Then you could be running both a desktop and a server on the same machine. Uh, this is good if you have a high powered machine, but if you have a low powered always on machine, uh, you probably don't want to do that. But it is an option if you do want to do that. Next, uh, we'll go over to the forums. And so the Open Media Vault forums are very friendly, uh, all volunteers, so you have to be patient. Uh, maybe your question won't be answered right away, but usually many people will try after a while. The FreeNAS forums, also very helpful. There is a stress on professional grade server equipment. So sometimes people will just suggest that you get a different server if you don't have, uh, you know, professional hardware server stuff. So. A little unhelpful there. Finally, the Unraid forums, I found them very helpful. Uh, like I said, I had to search for those um, USB drives, and there were basically lots of suggestions for those, and I found a few that worked. So one thing uh, before we move on that Open Media Vault does different than FreeNAS or uh, Unraid is that it's able to run on virtually any kind of computer hardware. Open Media Vault is based on Debian. And so Debian has been ported from everything from a Raspberry Pi to you know, a super, super computer and everything in between. FreeNAS is limited to x86 machines, as is uh, Unraid as far as I know. And that's because because Open Media Vault is based on Debian, there's actually, you can do some scripts and actually get it to install on top of Debian so you have a fully functioning 
machine uh, even if there's not the right installer for it. So that's pretty neat actually. One thing that's different between these three things is the file management system for the three of them. So FreeNAS uses ZFS, uh, Unraid uses Unraid, and OpenMeVault uses Extension 4. Now the difference here is that OpenMeVault can actually use ZFS and then it can use the equivalent of Unraid which is called SnapRaid also. So with Open Media Vault, because it's based on Debian, you have more flexibility in the way you store your files, your file management, and also more flexibility in your applications also. Because uh, as long as it runs on Debian, it will run on Open Media Vault. Another difference between the three is uh, Open Media Vault is a Linux-based de distribution based on Debian. Unraid is also based on Linux, and then uh, FreeNAS is based on FreeBSD. So if you already know something about one of those, so either FreeBSD or Linux, so I would just stick to it because there is some differences between the two systems. So uh, I know Linux already, so it was basically a choice for me between Open Media Vault and Unraid, and I like the increased uh, flexibility of uh, Open Media Vault over uh, Unraid in that I install it uh, basically on m lots of different types of machines. So currently I have it installed on a Raspberry Pi, a netbook, uh, a Lenovo server, and an old desktop and I have it running on virtual machines. Oh, and that's another difference between Unraid and the other ones. Unraid, as far as I know, can't be run on a virtual machine uh, because you need that USB drive in uh, for it to run. So you would have to basically buy another license every time you have a new installation, which you don't have to do with either Open Media Vault or FreeNAS. And so I hope you found that helpful and make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.